I'm in the fucking type of country, fucking I need play. It's been a while since I did a video like this. I've just been kind of out of the loop with YouTube, not been feeling too great, but I'm trying to get back on top of things. But recently, there's been some drama surrounding H3H3 and Killer Keemstar. Yeah, I'm, I'm just fucking thrilled about this. So basically what happened, Ethan dropped a nice old content nuke about Keemstar, basically telling us information we already knew, and he brought up Etika. So, people are pissed. I'm gonna take a look at this. See just how bad it is. Okay, let's see what H3 has to say about it. Uh huh. Keemstar? Alex is doing this shit. You fucking. N how do the fans feel about it? <laughs> ah, so it's one of these kinds of dramas. God damn it. G Fuel, G Fuel. Get it now at gfuel.com. Go, go fuck, fuck you. Good job. Imagine if you were fighting the orphan of cause. What? What the fuck is that? Oh, 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 oh. And you had no more blood vials left. But then Gearman wouldn't let you buy anymore because someone told him you've been making inappropriate remarks to Eileen, saying stuff like you want her biggie milky and you want her to sit on your face. That's basically what H3 did to Keemstar. Ethan made a video entitled Content Nuke, where he went after Keemstar for a lot of the shady shit he's done in the past. Basically, information that we all already knew. And then he went pretty, pretty fucking hard against Keemstar's sponsor, G Fuel. That's basically all there is. Oh, and he brought Etika up again. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get to that. Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! So it wouldn't be right to just cover this and not talk about the good that did come from H3's video, which a lot of people are doing. And it's really dumb. Either they didn't see it, or they're just choosing not to acknowledge it. So that's the first thing we'll talk about. This gentleman named Ethan, who is H3H3, uh, made a video and, and sent more love to me and my family than you can possibly imagine. This sweet older gentleman, Tony, runs the channel RS Glory and Gold. He was the man that Keemstar thought it would be funny to accuse of being a pedophile, which sent his rabid child fan base after this poor man for years. With Ethan's most recent video, with all the faults that it has, it has done one good thing, and that's bring a lot of love to this nice man. I don't, I don't really know how to do H, H3 yet, but I promise you I'm gonna learn, okay? H3, H3, hell yeah. Yahoo! H3 is number one. We love him. Hell yeah. Anyway, Ethan, thanks a lot for, you know, doing something that's life changing, you know? I mean, really and truly, you changed our lives. One thing I hate about his death is that after it happened, my subconscious lit up because I just had this mental checklist of these fuckers that I knew would try and make videos to make money off it. This is one part that I just really want to get past as quickly as possible because it bothers me. Some people don't think there's anything wrong with it, and that's fine, but I personally and plenty of other people have an issue with H3 bringing up Etika at all. Some people are saying that he blamed Keemstar for it, which I I don't remember that being in the video. It might very well be, but I did watch it and I don't remember it being in there. But if he did, if he didn't, he still shouldn't have brought up Etika at all. Pyrocynical said it the best in that clip that you saw near the beginning. All right, and now let's talk about the problem with the G Fuel. That sets a very dangerous precedent for other people because Given, getting the idea in people's heads that you can just go after sponsors to cancel someone, or in another way to cancel someone. It's like that fucking asshole who caused the apocalypse, if you guys remember that, when he was just going to advertisers and telling them to pull out because of the fucking weird pedos in the kids' comments. It's irresponsible what that guy did, and it's irresponsible what fucking Ethan did. Now a lot of people are like also bringing up the fact that, oh, Keemstar's, Keemstar's still guilty, guys. Like, don't, don't lose sight of that. We, we know, we, we know. It's not like this guy's been hated in the public eye of YouTube for the last four, five years now. He's an asshole. We know. <laughs> Ethan just 
fucked up. Don't worry, I'll get to Keem's video in a minute. First of all, before we check out Keem's video, let's check out those dislikes. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You'd have to be the biggest scumbag in the world to try to pin another man's suicide on another person because of an internet beef that me and you are having. I mean, yeah, you would have to be. Attica's own mother, who texted me this. Now this part is a bit iffy. On one hand, that could be fake. That could be really easily faked. But on the other hand, you'd have to be really stupid to fake something like that. So, if that's fake, Keemstar, you're a fucking dumbass, but we already know that. But if it's not, well fuck. This is the most difficult conversation to have. That's absolutely right, this is a difficult conversation to have. This is, this is ridiculous, and we shouldn't be engaging in this whole thing. I shouldn't be forced to respond to this. Attica's death shouldn't be used as a pawn to beat me in this feud that we have, H3H3. You really crossed the line. Now that part is fair, and that's, I don't really need to look at too much more of this, because that's, that's just the truth. H3, H3, Ethan, goddamn, you did fuck up. Yes, something good came out of this. Tony got his happiness back and more love and subscribers to him. That's great. That's awesome. You just really should not have brought up Etika in this, dude. And yes, again, let me clarify. I know Keemstar is an asshole. We all know this. You fucking stupid bitch! This stupid fucking justice, all fucking righteous fucking n****! Alex is doing this shit, you fucking nigga. Hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> like, seriously, what's wrong with you, asshole? I think it's funny. I've been laughing for the last hour that your mom died of cancer.